Well, I tried to make these Subaru seats work. Well, as you can see, it's a fail. I got them in here, mounted up on here. They're too high. I can't get my fat ass in here. Too high in the front. And I'm not going to modify the base. So I'm going to have to go back with the original seat. This seat was only held on by the back two mounting points. The front two were ripped out. The back of the seat had that wood stuck in between the top and the bottom to uh, keep the back straight up and down. And... Uh, it was not doing a very good job at it. It eventually was just broke. So here I'm just taking the back off of it. I'm not going to uh, replace the cover on it. I'm just going to put the old cover back on it for now because I just need to get the vehicle inspected and on the road. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to it to get up to this point. It had uh, been repaired once before and they brazed it so here I'm grinding out all the braze and cleaning up all the broken where it needs to be welded up mainly just getting all the braze out of there because you can't weld the braze and you can kind of see that it's it's bent and warped And then I made up some pieces to span across where the pieces didn't connect. The side piece is broken and uh, come loose. Got a bow in it right here. It's not, it's not flat. And use what you got piece of iron, a couple pieces of 2 by 4 and a big ass rusty seat clamp. Let's see what happens. That's a 100% better. As you can see, and that's on there now, it all lines up. Nice and straight now. It's still got to be welded. Had to get a little more medieval on it to get a little more straighter. Welded that up. That solved the problem. Here's the welding I did on it. See I reinforced it, used some big washers, oh. used some big washers, went around it, welded it all up, painted it, reinforced it there, reinforced it there, some ugly, some ugly welds all over it to redo it. washers to reinforce it, 
some real ugly welds. Welded it up there. Straightened it out there. Reinforced it there. Same thing there. Some more ugly weld. And another washer. Both sides reinforced it there. Straightened it all up as best as I can. Gave it some rust paint and some regular paint. So the springs on this were bent and the ends were broken. Uh, I think one of them was, only one of them wasn't broken. It, 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 all of them, I think one of them had one end left on it. One had both ends left on it. And two of them, both ends were broken. So I had to repair them all. Um, I think I cut the one end off of the uh, one that was bent. I mean stretched. And uh, so anyway, they're all stretched out a little bit too much. I cut a piece of canvas because the foam was cutting through. And uh, I ended up taking this back off and gluing that canvas to the bottom of the foam. So I put this all on and then I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't hog ring it on, but I put it on there and then I noticed that the foam was, uh, that the canvas wasn't, uh, really staying put so then I took it back off and I glued the uh, like I said I glued that back on and here I'm uh, I'm using the uh, that uh, striker plate to uh, line up the vinyl and I only had the original two bottom screws for this because the top ones had sheep had uh, wood screws in it so i had, luckily i went to harbor freight and you can buy those stainless steel screws in an assortment pack so these are number eights that i'm putting in down here and i put in two number eights in the top and then one of them was stripped out so i had to use a number so i had to use a 10. So that one was an eight. That one was an eight. That one I had to be real easy with. And then this one here was that was a ten. <clears throat> So now that that made all the material or the vinyl line up. And I wasn't going to buy a hog ring pliers or tool. I was just going to use uh, baling wire. But I'm glad I bought this tool. It was only like 20 bucks. But uh, the uh, I, I made uh, I wanted to buy the tool with uh, stainless uh, hog rings, but the hog rings are a little bit lightweight. So if I had to buy some more hog rings, I'm gonna get them from the regular upholstery shop or or something. Make sure they're more heavy duty because they're a little bit on the light lightweight side, but they worked. And uh, you probably get some shots of my uh, my my uh, noggin there, Mr. Clean, my Mr. Clean noggin there. I was really pretty happy the way this. Uh, 
turned out. I don't really like these seats. Uh, I, I really want to get a set of um, like um, mid seventy Mustang seats, um, high back, uh, with the you know the the headrests are not they're not detachable. That's what I had in my uh, 79, uh, 78. I really liked them. Yeah, and I'm a Ryobi guy. I'm not too happy with that... Uh, compact drill though it has something in it like a uh, some sort of a circuit breaker or something like that whenever you try to drill and it binds up it shuts off I don't know if that's just the one I got or if it's all of them I had the old school one the bigger one never had a problem with it but the, the compact drill it, uh, I'm not, I don't like it. The old blue one I liked. I thought it would be cool and get the compact one. Sometimes the new and cool stuff ain't the best. I like this uh, quarter inch drill driver though, or not drill driver, impact driver though, but I did get it, uh, some, uh, I, I took transmission apart and I got it all oily and uh, it quit working. I had to take it all apart and clean it, get all the oil out of it. It's not good in oily situations. So I got it back in there, and uh, I, I recorded this, but uh, the wind was blowing so hard that uh, I couldn't use the audio. So what I'm saying here is that the seat that was in it, or this seat, leaned all the way back to the back seat. And you couldn't use it. And uh, so I'm sitting in here now, and it goes forward and back. It didn't do that before. And uh, so it sits real good now. I'm kind of happy with it. But uh, as you can see that the floor, I got to do some work on that floor. And uh, I'm going to have to replace a, uh, a cross member in it too. And uh, the... The inner uh, the inner rocker has to be replaced too. So that's probably that's going to be the next thing I do. Thanks for watching.